hello welcome back to my channel i'm your girl sincerely kia so if it's your first time to my channel welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back my honeys thank you so much for joining me again today we've got a requested reaction and this is by tim minchin minchin i hope i'm saying that right and it's the title of the song is confessions never heard this song before this will be a first time this is a song entitled Confessions in Three Movements. And the first movement is called Feminism. I believe that women have the right to walk the streets at night without being afraid for their lives. And I believe a woman has the right to choose what happens to her body without suffering the judgment of the conservative right and i believe a woman has the right to wear the clothes she likes without being treated like dirt and i think we men are pathetic how we seem to judge aesthetic as the measure of a woman's worth i'm ashamed on behalf of my sex for making women feel like objects Fuck, I love boobs, though. <laughs> I just really love them. <laughs> Fuck, I love boobs, though. Oh, my God. I just want to rub them. Oh, they're just so juby. They make me feel groovy. I would rather watch boobs in a movie. be doo be doo I just really love boobs. boobs. <laughs> <laughs> the second confession is entitled no. Poverty, open bracket, altruism. Oh my god, I don't believe it. Woo, nice play. Closed bracket. I believe that people are entitled to basic human rights, whether they are rich or they're poor. And I believe a world where no children are starving is a world worth fighting for. And I try to remind myself, even when I'm struggling, how incredibly lucky I am. And I don't think it's okay that the luxuries I crave should come at the expense of my fellow man. I'm sure I could do a little more to alleviate the suffering of the poor. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I love boobs though. <laughs> I just really love them. I don't really mind if I am behind, below, or above. Um, <laughs> they're just so jubbly, they make me feel lovely. I would rather own and a pub <laughs> be -do -be -do. I just really love <laughs> you are something this uh, final confession is entitled the environment I believe the planet that we live in is a living organism and we must treat her carefully I don't think we can we can just go on consuming her resources indefinitely. The earth's not a bottomless pit, and we can all do our little bit. Don't do it, please, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck I love boobs though I just really care for them Are they equally fun when they're 21? Or octogenarian? Are they just so flappy? They make me feel happy I would rather eat boobs than a bat be doop be doop do 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 I just really love boobs Evolutionary theory says boobs 
bosoms about a clight protrusions designed to tempt men in situations when they can't get a glimpse of your bum. <laughs> I find such hypotheses dumb. It's like that one that says lipstick is for making your lips look more like the lips of a happy vagina. Since they said that I can't look my great aunt in the eye. <laughs> From the first little suck of colostrum To the grope of the nurse in the old people's hostel We're just fucking monkeys in shoes And I Something else. I love him because I love boobies. <laughs> he was, this is so intelligent, so well done, so playful, so artistic. He's he spoke well, he played that piano off. He he sounds great, he sounds amazing. When I first saw him on screen, I was like, Oh my god, another man with an eyeliner. I was like, No one can do David Bowie. But he is magnificent. I'm not offended in the least. I got his point. I got his message. He added humor to serious topics, talked about the environment, talked about feminism, talked about children starving, talked about their lives, talked about the earth, not using up her resources. All those things matter. And he went back and made it something to be jolly about because he really does like breasts. And what he said about the lipstick putting on lips being a, like a vagina i've never heard of that so this is my and i was like what in the world no my lips don't look like vaginas and um it just sounded so beautiful so thoughtful i'm i'm looking at the pluses with this performance like he, you have to listen because it's a pretty long song it's six minutes and seven seconds but I love it. I love it so much. You have to you have to admit that he was pretty intelligent. And the causes he spoke about the things that matter to him. And if breasts matter to him, it's what he likes. It's what it like I don't feel the need to be pretentious. I think society is striking people out at such a fast rate that you don't even know who's being authentic. That's why people can be can tell you what they want to hear. They know, oh, the feminist movement is okay. Women's right, and in in their house, they're doing like absurd things. They're being they. It's it's building the cancel culture is building a society of pretenders. If you get what I mean. You have to let people, while you disagree with them, you have to respect other people's choices. Not everyone wants to be a feminist. Okay, fine. As long as you're not trying to affect your own rights, that's their business. Absolutely. As long as you're not walking into the boardroom talking down to me or trying to hassle me from getting the promotion, you can believe whatever you want. Listen, you can. You, 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 some people don't believe in God. You think I'm going to jump into an atheist home and burn it down or go in front of them and start chanting god is real god is real you're gonna go to hell no no honey believe whatever you want just don't cross the street and try to affect my life with your own decisions with your own beliefs right that's 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 where i am with this whole everything with every movement there ever was allow people express themselves have a conversation even if you don't agree and you're in a in a conversation with someone you're having a dialogue do so respectfully like where did where did giving your opinion what what who said we can do it in love we can't do it in kindness we can't do it intelligently and get our opinions across why 
the aggression? Why the insult? Before, like, why the beastly behavior in life with any issue at all? That's how they lose me. Like, what? I don't care who you are. Muslim, priest, atheist, if you start out a conversation with a beastly attitude, I'm shutting you down from the priest to the imam to the idol wash. I don't care because at the crux of it, human respect is needed for whatever, ever, ever in life. You need to have that decent courtesy to express yourself. Oh, no, I don't agree, but let me let me listen to you for a moment and we can discuss it. Okay, let me get, no, 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 no. You are disgusting. You believe that, 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 No, every ideal was founded on something. And since we weren't, we can't trace, we don't have the pictures to show us this is the truth, that's a lie. You have to at least humble yourself in the face of every other person's wisdom and their opinions. That's where I stand. Beautiful song. Please take a look at these lyrics in your own spare time and listen to the song over and over again. Do I like boobies? Absolutely. I've got them. I'm teasing. <laughs> I'm so silly. Everyone always says, oh, why don't you let your camera down? Because people like these like boobies. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell if you've got any requests. Use the link in the description part of my reaction video. Head over to my website. I look forward to hearing from you. On to the next song.